Hello, this is Jesse Davey with Universal Hospital Services. Prolonged bed rest and immobility is widely recognized to cause multiple complications among critically ill patients, including decreased respiratory function, muscle deterioration, and increased dementia, to mention only a few. The OnCare VitalGo Total Lift Bed is a revolutionary, one-of-a-kind medical device that combats these complications by offering a safe means for providing both upright and weight-bearing therapies throughout the entire day. This combination of therapies is often referred to as early or progressive mobility. The total lift bed is available in two models, the standard size with a 425-pound weight capacity and the bariatric model with a 1,000-pound weight capacity. Today, I'll provide an in-service for both of these models. We will discuss the bed controls, optional integrated air mattress, cardiac chair position, and tilting function. We will conclude with a review of the features unique to the bariatric model. Let's begin with the transport. All four casters can be locked and unlocked independently. Press on the red pedal to lock the casters and the green lever to unlock. The first step in preparing a bed for patient use is to place the bed on its foot pads. This provides a safe and stable platform that allows the scale to function properly. We'll talk more about the scale a little later. To raise the casters and lower the foot pads, press the bed height up button on the hand pennant until the wheels are off the ground. To lower the casters for bed transport, make sure the patient surface is in a flat position. Then on the hand pennant, Press and hold the caster button until movement stops and you hear a beep. Patient controls for head up and down, foot up and down, bed up and down, and level all are located on the head end side rails. The caregiver controls located on the outside of the head end side rails offer the same functionality as the patient controls with the addition of a CPR button and a lockout control. The lockout control disengages the functionality of the patient controls. Press and hold the lockout button for three seconds or until the red LED illuminates. The CPR button will bring the head and knee sections to a flat position. The caregiver hand pendant includes all these same functions, with the exception of the lockout control. The side rail can be positioned in two ways, fully up and fully down, and are in compliance with all regulatory standards. To release, pull out on the black knob, and again to raise. The total lift bed features a convenient patient scale. Each button controls two functions, with the exception of the power and hold buttons. To engage the primary function, press and release. To engage the secondary function, press and hold for three seconds or until the desired action is completed. Press the power button to engage the scale. Before placing a patient, First, add all pillows, linens, and accessories, and make sure the bed is firmly supported by the foot pads. Then press and hold the total weight button until the scale is zeroed. Next, press and hold the footboard button until the footboard scale is zeroed. Now the patient can be placed on the bed. We'll talk more about the footboard button when we cover tilting. To toggle between pounds and kilograms, Press and hold the blue weigh button for three seconds. To add or remove items to the bed without affecting the accuracy of the displayed patient weight, press the hold button. Remove or add the desired item, and then press the blue weigh button. The patient scale is now reactivated. The total lift bed includes a bed exit alarm. To engage the bed exit alarm, the patient must be in the bed. 
press and hold the clear alarm button for three seconds. An arrow will appear on the right side of the display screen. The alarm will sound if the patient exits the bed. To disable the alarm, press the clear alarm button. To protect patient privacy, the display will read scale after a period of inactivity. Press any button to engage the display. To power off the scale, press and hold the power button until the countdown reaches zero. The Total Lift Bed features an integrated alternating pressure and low air loss therapy surface, designed for treatment of wounds up to stage four. The air mattress controls are integrated into the foot end side rail. Press the power button to turn the mattress on and begin inflating. Units equipped with a compressor-based system will hold air even when the power is lost. Units with a blower-based system will not hold air in the event of a power loss. A two-inch foam base helps to prevent patients from bottoming out. The mattress firmness can be increased or decreased by pressing the up and down arrow keys. Press the up arrow to increase firmness and the down arrow to soften the pressure. Recommended patient's weights are listed next to the firmness settings to assist in the selection process. Caregivers can select from two mode options, low air loss and max inflate. A green light will illuminate indicating the selected treatment option. Low air loss therapy provides a flow of air to assist in managing the heat and humidity of the skin. Max Inflate is used to rapidly inflate the mattress. When the Max Inflate is selected, a series of beeps will sound every three minutes as a reminder. After 15 minutes, Max Inflate will automatically deactivate and the system will default to the previous setting. With the therapy control button, caregivers can choose from alternating pressure, fouler, and static. Selecting alternating pressure provides pressure redistribution by cycling pressures between adjacent air cells. With alternating pressure selected, caregivers have the option of choosing from 5, 10, 15, and 20 minute cycle times. A 5 minute cycle time is typical of most alternating pressure systems. When tilting or in the chair position, Fowler therapy can be activated to further support the patient and help prevent bottoming out. Static therapy maintains a constant pressure in all air cells based on the firmness setting. Mattress controls can be locked out to prevent tampering. Press and hold the lock key until the green light illuminates. Press and hold again to unlock. There are two alarm types, low pressure and power fail. In either instance, an audible alarm will sound and a flashing amber light will display next to the triggered alarm. Alarms can be muted by pressing the alarm silence key. Once the issue has been resolved, the audiovisual signal will cease and the system will resume normal operation. In the case that CPR is required, First, power down the mattress system. Blower-based systems will rapidly deflate. For compressor-based systems, locate the CPR release at the left head end of the mattress. Twist to the open position to deflate. For the benefit of cardiac therapy, physical therapy, and patient comfort, the Total Lift Bed features a cardiac chair position that does not require footboard removal. To set a custom chair position for the patient, first adjust the head of bed to the desired angle. Next, adjust the leg section. Then, press the M button, followed by pressing the chair button until you hear a beep. Finally, press the chair button until the footboard moves to meet the patient's feet. Now, by pressing the chair button,
The bed will move to the preset chair position. What really sets the total lift bed apart is the ability to tilt patients from a flat position to a fully upright standing position. To ensure patient safety, tilt functionality is accessible only from the caregiver pendant and only after unlocking the feature. Patient straps positioned under the knees, above the knees, and across the chest will provide a very secure position for patient tilting. To unlock the tilt controls, press and hold the two bottommost buttons until you hear a soft beep. Then, press and hold the forward tilt button. Once tilting is engaged, the bed performs a number of steps to ensure patient safety and proper positioning. Foot pads will descend if not already on the floor, the casters will retract, the bed height will raise, and the patented footboard will move to meet and support the patient's feet. As tilting begins, caregiver and patient can use the scale display or biofeedback screen on the footboard to monitor the amount of weight a patient is bearing through the footboard. The display is useful for the patient to see and encourage them to progress. The amount of patient weight being applied through the footboard can be viewed by pressing the footboard button on the scale. Push the footboard button again to view the percentage of the patient's total weight resting on the footboard. The angle of bed tilt is displayed on the inclinometer. Press the power button to display the tilt angle. With the new weight bearing and tilting data provided by the VitalGo Total Lift Bed, caregivers can now maximize therapy outcomes by setting a baseline for early mobility therapy based on tolerance or vital signs. To tilt the bed frame back to a zero degree flat position, press and hold the reverse tilt button until you hear a beep or until you reach the desired angle of tilt. Remember, it may be necessary to first unlock the tilt controls before tilting in either direction. While most functions on the bariatric model of the total lift bed are the same as those on the standard model, there are a few notable differences. We'll review those differences now. First is the braking system. Instead of engaging each caster brake individually, the bariatric model uses a central braking system located at the head end of the bed. Use the foot pedal to set the bed to steer, neutral, or brake. Second, while both beds include casters for transport, the bariatric bed features an optional motorized drive system. To operate the total drive system, lower the bed onto the casters and unplug the power cords from the wall socket. Then, press the power button on the joystick console. To lower the drive wheels, press the number one and an amber light should illuminate. Then, push the joystick forward Short beeps will sound as the wheels lower. The beeping will stop once the drive wheels have lowered completely. Push the one button again, the amber light will turn off, and the speed controls will come on. The bed is now in drive mode. Make sure the bed brake lever is in the neutral or middle position. Press the turtle or rabbit button to increase or decrease the drive wheel speed as desired. And finally, move the joystick according to the direction you wish to go. The horn can be sounded by pressing the center trumpet button. To retract the drive wheels, press the number one button and pull the joystick backwards. Again, you'll hear beeping until the wheels have fully retracted. Press the power button to turn off the drive control system and reconnect the power cords. It is important to make sure the drive wheels are fully retracted before zeroing the scale or weighing the patient. Third, each side of the bariatric bed is expandable. To expand the width, lift up on the black lever on the bottom of each side rail and pull. 
The width and length of the mattress can also be expanded. The connections are located behind the air mattress controls. To expand the length, connect the yellow hoses. To expand the width, connect the blue hoses. To reduce the width and length, disconnect the hoses. Finally, in the chair position, the footboard on the bariatric model can be lowered flush to the ground, while the standard model remains at an angle off the floor. The OnCare VitalGo Total Lift Bed is truly a revolutionary tool that will improve how you care for immobile, critical patients. The unique combination of tilt functionality and the weight-bearing control system offer unmatched early mobility therapy options in a safe, controlled environment to improve patient strength and ambulation more quickly and ultimately reduce the cost of care. Thank you.